Okay, I'm at Mrs. Liss' house here in Wilton. So you've got the dogwood tree, a group of, a hedge of hollies, and a hedge of hollies on the other side. Those are the items that I think we should leave exactly where they are, okay? Um, potentially everything else that's in good shape, like these little perennials um, and grasses, those we can relocate and transplant. Um, just too high of a density of grasses in a small area. I think we're gonna try to try to perhaps mix some of those grasses among the the uh, landscaping rather than have it condensed into a small area. This area here with uh, the tree and the overgrown plants and the holly, this whole area I would rip out and rethink. And then I'd also rethink all the understory plantings that go between the stone wall and the hedge. So you've got three nepeta here, which I think are probably fine. You get decent sunlight. Then you got a spirea. You'll notice that that's not doing that great because you don't get a lot of sunlight right there. Okay. Um, so consider transplanting the spirea. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven grasses on this side to transplant. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 13 grasses in this group and there's another let's see here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven grasses in this group all right um you've got a sedum here one sedum um two american boxwood your, your boxwood has to be treated for a leaf miner insect. Okay, all this comes out. The stump has to come out here, so this tree comes down. The wire, you might consider extending in this area. You might end up en enlarging the size of this bed a little bit so you don't have this little patch of grass. Okay. Um, another sedum here, so it's another sedum. Another sedum there, so that's two more sedum. Okay. Let's take a look at the back. All right. So on this side, I'll remove, maybe I'll leave the one, leave the one azalea here. Remove the other smaller azalea, remove the barberry. Barberry looks overgrown, doesn't look, looks leggy. Then you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen liriope. And on this side, you might consider just putting shade-loving plants. All right. Um, you could use liriope elsewhere if you wanted to. And back here, you've got more grasses, more sedum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven grasses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven more perennials outside of that. I would consider adding some evergreen into this area because right now you'll notice it loses all of its color during the winter. All right, and then just rethinking this area back here by the deck as well. And here we talked about replacing these damaged boxwoods. Maybe you could just use a dwarf boxwood and then just be careful to tie them before the winter. Something that's going to stay smaller. This is American box. This grows too big anyways for this area. Leave the two hydrangeas. The two hydrangeas will stay, but replace these. So that's it. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you.